Oh hi, <clears throat> uh, Teravada Misogyny. I'd like to address this video to people who follow Teravada and may politely be a, be categorised as misogynists, or just to be sorry to be blunt, but misogyny means is commonly called the fear and hatred of women. Uh, in addressing this video to Buddhist misogynists, I'm not addressing it exclusively to monks or to men. Uh, unfortunately, if you look at the history of uh, when gender equality has raised its head, often the biggest the biggest uh, opponents have been of this very gender who stand to benefit in the philosophy has been what's good enough for, for my mother was good enough for me. So this I don't address this video to men only. Uh, I'd like to say though that if one looks at the at the the history of Theravada Buddhism, it's not. I would like to say Theravada is not founded on the basis that females are inferior, and that females need to serve males. But I would like to say that that ethos quite quickly came on board. <clears throat> the eth the ethos quite quickly spread through all Theravada, that essentially, men are superior to women and women should uh, do what men say, especially as regarding monks and nuns. I mean, the only, the only reason that the Bhikkhuni Sangha has been allowed to die in Buddhist countries for 2,000 years, the only reason that was allowed, that situation continued, is because no individual monks cared enough, or no individual monks could raise enough support to, to, to revitalize the uh, the bikuni tradition and the only the only other reason that there's been gender segregation like men only uh, and uh, there's on, the only reason there's been various forms of discrimination against women <clears throat> within within in particular Theravada countries is because the monks especially the monks because they're the one with the power but not only the monks, but we have to say that the majority of the responsibility lies with the monks. The only reason nothing has improved is because the monks and the rest of society have been too uh, too sexist against women and they believed that women are inferior to men. If you're a person who believes that women are inferior to men, I would like to politely challenge you and say, you prob you, I would suggest that you're getting mixed up and you're equating difference with inequality. You're, you're, you're equating variety with uh, in, 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 in superiority. It used to be believed that black people were inferior to white people. Even within black people, the, there was some black people who believed that darker skins were inferior to lighter skins. Where I come from in Scotland, many people believe that, and I say this, this seriously, that many people believe that non-Glaswegians are inferior to Glaswegians. And each person who has this superior inferiority mentality, if you if you if you intellectually look at the belief system, it quite quickly falls apart, and you see that what powers the belief system is actually discrimination. Uh, I'm going to speak a bit personal here. And the two women that the two people that I love most in my life are female, and I find I'm quite an intelligent person. And I find no le no signs of inferiority about them. Uh, they're different from me. They're more intelligent than me in some ways. They care more about things, uh, in me in other ways. And in other ways, I would say I've I've possibly got the edge on them, but difference. Difference does not equate equate to inequality and in uh, inferiority. I mean, if you look at nature, nature th thrives on difference. Nature thrives on variety. So anyone who equates the differences between the genders, who equates that difference with inequality, I would say they need to be politely, or perhaps even not politely, uh, they need to be challenged that difference doesn't mean inequality because uh, I, I think that that mind frame is it's, it, it powers discrimination I'm just going to look at my clock Corey. sorry hold on oh, okay 
I've got I've got five minutes left. So yeah, this is just a polite video uh, addressed exclusively to the Theravada misogynists, uh, those who hate women and fear women. Uh, just what I would like to go over a point I said earlier. If you look at the full basis of the modern Theravada Buddhism, the full premise is the uns well actually it's spoken within the Garudamas and it might even be spoken it's within the Garud within the, the Pali the Pali Tripitaka. It's actually this is what I'm going to say next. It's actually in black and white within the Garudamas. Uh, it's, it's it's I must say it's highly disputable if the Garudamas are actually uh, an original part of the Pali Sutta. But anyway, it's in black and white. What I'm going to say is in black and white in the Garudamas, and it's evident throughout the whole of Theravada Buddhism. I want to uh, controversially suggest that the that Theravada is based on the philosophy that men are superior. Theravada is based on the philosophy that women are inferior, and uh, it's just ever. I mean, this this thing is ever so obvious. And uh, yeah, it's just to me the full p the monks the monks follow follow a tradition which separates them from women. The only way a monk can be a successful monk is to to put it to put it mildly is to limit his contact with women. The Vinaya the monks rules forbid a monk from being alone with a woman. When a monk walks up the street, he should keep his eyes downcast. He shouldn't look at women. Uh, so these rules within themselves don't don't infer uh, inferiority, but I just mentioned them as examples that the monk's tradition is built on the is built on separation, like keeping the monks away from the nuns and keeping the nuns away from the monks, and it's that kind of that's quite close to gender segregation, is quite close to gender hatred, and it's 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 just a, a breeding ground for misogyny. And I suggest that over the past 2,300 2, years since Buddha was alive, uh, that misogyny has become uh, has become one of the main factors within Theravada Buddhism. So this is controversial, but uh, I think it, well, I, I, I do mean it seriously. Uh, okay, so I offer this video uh, humbly. Oh, sorry, humbly, and. Uh, yeah, I offer it for your contemplation. Thank you. Bye.